my drive, my drive towards the end of the contest, it was like it was like 50-50. It was it was my carrot for me. Um, a lifelong dream. I want to say even more so, my drive was um, to impress you because you put all your heart and soul into me, and I wanted to get back. I don't want everything that you did for not. When you were getting frustrated and beating your head against the wall, it was up to me to show you, okay, I get it, and make you happy. I, I tell people that. It's like, okay, I'm doing this. I want, I want to see a grin at his face. I've never heard you say this. Yeah, I want to see Dave smile when I'm on stage. That's, that was like more than half of me. It was, that, was, that was what it was. Once you beat your head against the wall and get frustrated, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fucking prove to him that it's not all for now. Uh, you're witnessing a neat experience for me. I, I didn't know that was in his heart. I had no idea. Um, thank you. That's, I was beating my head against the wall. I did want this guy to look like this, and the veins in his arms. And I mean, who cares if you're skinny with a six pack? I'm, I'm sorry for all you skinny guys with six packs, but I, I think it's much cooler to put muscles where they're not put bumps, as I, as I like to call them, put bumps underneath the thin skin. And we didn't just thin his skin, we put bumps on him. And he built a back that is, mm -hmm. I'm jealous of it, it's better than my back. And I try really hard for my back. I get paid to take pictures for my back. And this guy is just unreal what he's done. He's not, he's got calves. Dell has calves. <laughs> calves are not easy to get. There's a thousand guys in the gym, every gym you go to, that all scream they can't have calves. Yes, they can. They're not willing to take the pain. They don't have accountability on their watch. They don't know what to eat, when to eat it, why they should eat it, and why they should eat it when they should eat it. They don't know any of that, yet they, they're not born to have calves. So, if we never talked again, which won't happen, mm -hmm. knowing that you get to walk around with this body, mm -hmm. and, and it's not about the body, because that's worldly, the confidence, the, the, the energy that you take through the rest of your life through a business meeting, through anything, because you own every single bit of you. Mm -hmm. Not even a handful of popcorn is gonna make it in front of you and, and get in your way. So. It's, a, it's a confidence you bring with it. I mean, it's, it's, and I've told people the same thing, it's, it's probably the hardest thing you're ever gonna do. I've never done anything as hard as, you know, you're, you're hungry. <laughs> Like you said, when you're hungry and you're and you're and you got to go to the gym and you're you know you're working an eight-hour day, you know I'd get up at I'd get up at four o'clock in the morning, I'd go to the gym, I do an hour of cardio, and I drive an hour to work. I do eight hours at work, come home, go back to the gym. So now we're like four or five o'clock at night, do an hour of weights, another hour of cardio, eat dinner, go to bed, repeat. <laughs> if you didn't just catch that. Two hours a day, cardio, at least an hour of training, an hour commute to and from, and an eight hour day, five to six days a week. Now, he wasn't trying to just look above average, he was trying to create the best him possible, reach his potential. There was only one way to do it as fast as possible, and that's the way he did it. He could have done an hour of training a day, no cardio, but he'd be like everybody else in the gym and he'd never change. I want you guys to remember this. Look around the gym. Look around the gym tonight. Look at all the bodies. Tell me which ones change next year. Find one that changes in a year. You probably won't see it. So then, so you're doing this and, and, and pretty much you're, you're carb depleted and you're, you're working like a maniac and your, your head starts playing games with you because especially for me, I, I have never, well, first of all, I'm, I'm very stage fright. I've always, I've always had stage fright, and it was just my bucket list. I don't know why, I, I decided I'm doing this, and I knew going in that it was going to be just crazy, stupid trying to get past the stage fright of the whole thing. And so it was, it was, uh, it was a challenge. And so your head starts playing head games with you. You know, am I good enough? Am I skinny enough? Am I tan enough? Am I this? Am I that? And how's the other guys next to me look and all that stuff? And I've told other people after the experience, you know, you got the judges and it's all political and everybody's got their ideas of how the judging goes down. Um, 
but for me, like I was telling Dave for you know six months I'm gonna do a contest and it was like it was a lot of lip service um, for me. I was telling myself in my head I'm gonna do a contest. It was lip service. So until you have that date, until you actually commit to yourself and everybody that you tell anybody else around you, I'm doing a contest, whatever you want to do, that 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 that's where you win. You know, who cares what the judges say or do? Yeah, like David said, it's, it's gravy to get the trophy or to be called out and get the top three. That's that's great, but. For me, it was just having that date was you do everything in your heart and soul, blood, sweat, to get to your very best possible. And nobody can take that from you. You walk off that stage and you nailed it in your own head and you you did it. And nobody can take that from you. No judge, no nothing. And that's what I did it for, was to get in my best shape. Otherwise, I would just keep on saying, it was like for the last, 25 years when I couldn't like like you're saying it's like you keep going to the gym keep spinning your wheels you keep telling yourself oh I'm, I was 232 pounds but I was going to the gym every day <laughs> you know I was getting fatter and fatter and I thought I was eating right oh I was, I, you know Lynn and I go oh we always eat healthy oh we eat chicken we you know we don't we don't eat fast food I never eat fast food but how do I get to be 232 pounds but I don't eat fast food and I'm going to the gym every too day. too many almonds will make you fat too yeah you know, so, too much of the good food can yeah be. well Wine and cheese ah, and all that. A little yeah. fun. Yeah. So, um, I'll tell anybody, it's like, it's it's a good goal to have. And I'll never regret it, as much of a head game it was.